Profit is one thing that I think is very much important. Uh, why payment? The answer is no. So I think these are the three sectors which particularly I feel are where I'm very bullish on. Thank you for inviting me here. I think uh, if I talk about myself, I'm not a techie. I come from a finance background. Uh, I've been, I've spent a great part of my career with PwC, American Express, in the treasury. And that is where I derive a lot of my expertise into fintech uh, from. Uh, and one of the things that uh, attracted me towards Web3 was essentially payments. So being in treasury in American Express, one of the problems that I saw was that the way money moves across border, it's where it's it, it has very uh, very many flaws. Then I went full time into Web3, uh, joined an Indian exchange, and then that's where I think someone from Polygon reached out to uh, interview me. And that's where I joined Polygon. Uh, with Polygon, I've had multiple roles. And from there till today, if I talk about, so I've been managing all the global partnerships around all the payment protocols and the fintech protocols that are building on Polygon today. Two weeks back, I was just given another role uh, as to head all the ecosystem that is being built in it. Uh, profit is one thing that I think is very much important. Uh, why? Because uh, if you're not able to make money, your business will not survive and it will not thrive. So yeah, I think there are two categories. One is people who just want to invest and make money out of it in that like but yeah so that is one the other one is like if you look at uh, the investment uh, as well that is flown into india uh, within like a lot of people investing in there's a huge chunk of people like yesterday a day before yesterday i was talking to an indian exchange one of the major ones and they were saying that uh, 60 percent of our user base is like a hodler they're not trading it but they're wanting it to hold it for a long term so that is one good thing which is there. Uh, so yeah, they are expecting profits. They are believing in the technology. That's why they're holding it. They're not short-term traders. So these are, I think, the two main categories where you have 40% short-term traders, 60% long-term holders as a pro, uh, like a uh, general profile genre, which is there. If you're, So this is from the investment perspective. The other is from the builder perspective. I think from the builder perspective, it's more about the amount of help that you have given out. Uh, so yeah, they, they want to go out and build something. And... In, in order for you to sustain that business, you have to find profitability, you have to find revenue. So I think, yeah, profit is an important aspect there. So yeah, I, I mean, uh, for young uh, young people, if they are actually getting into it and they just, uh, without understanding the technology, they just want to make quick bucks, there will be exceptions, one or two exceptions who will make good money, but 99.9% .9 would fail. But yeah, that is, I would say like currently, if you look at the whole crypto ecosystem, that's barely 10% of the total population. 90% is still just trying to make quick bucks and just want to make a flashy life out of it. So that's the financial use cases. The other one is non-financial use cases. So financial use cases, whether like uh, crypto can be used as a means of payment, the answer is no. And it's not just the institutions, it's us also because the way Indian ecosystem has been developed with the, uh, with the likes of UPI, the payments are already instant. And when the payments are already instant, you do not have to pay anything out of it. At the back end, there are charges, but uh, at the front for the customer, there is no none. So that way, I think financial use cases, it does not even make sense for them to even think about bringing blockchain into this because that's already a solved solution in India. And uh, like UPI does almost 2 billion transactions. So the, this is one thing. Then on the second is non-financial. I think in the non-financial sector, there's a huge amount of use cases that are building. A lot of people launching their memberships. One of the biggest e-commerce company, Flipkart, so uh, is actually going out and launching a secondary marketplace within their app. So Flipkart has 450 million users. It was recently bought by Walmart in US. And what they're doing is they are going out and launching a secondary marketplace within their app. So an access to 450 million people to go out and have a secondary marketplace, how it works is, let's say uh, on Flipkart, if you bought something uh, for 20,000 INR, uh, they give you a discount voucher after you've bought. Now this discount voucher might not be useful for you because you've already made your purchase. So what, what they're trying to do is, so let's say that there was a discount voucher that I got for 2,000 and uh, what I, what I, for me, it's useless. But now, how they are bringing utility to this is they're launching a secondary marketplace where essentially you can list this voucher. Now, when you list this voucher, it automatically converts into an NFT on Polygon chain, and it is listed there. Once you list it, someone wants to buy it. Someone can buy it. The moment someone buys it, it again is redeemed from an NFT to a voucher and is given to their uh, them. For me, the benefit is if I can get, I can make money out of this listing. For Flipkart, it is beneficial because now they're able to engage with more brands and more customers. 
they're bringing more brands also into it so that way like this is one of the biggest use case which we have in uh, in with that kind of a impact size population 450 million and along with that we have multiple other uh, collaborations that we have done with gaming companies uh, as well as distribution companies which are essentially going out and making that so non financial like i would say the the use cases are just rising a lot financially we just have like right now cross border uh, there are some financial inst- instruments that can be issued on blockchain to reduce the time consumption and everything i think uh, one of the things that we focused on is uh, builder success or the project success uh, what i mean from that is like essentially if you're building a a, a particular project on top of polygon uh, what we want to offer and what we offer is help you with your own business development so when a lot of companies when they start with the products most of the teams are builder focused right they do not have the capabilities to understand the marketing because they have not hired someone there so they do not have marketing team they do not have uh, business development teams and everything like that and we uh, being in this space for quite long now we realize that this product has good potential and everything like that so what we do is like one of the biggest examples that i can give you is of polygon uh, zkvm that we launched and now we are bringing a lot of defi applications there so one of the things that uh, like think about a uh, very simply put there's this eco- there's an xyz ecosystems which are giving you hundreds of thousands of uh, dollars worth of grants to build on them versus polygon just going out and saying okay we do not believe that we'll be able to give you that kind of a money but what essentially we'll be going out and doing you is we'll be helping you connect for the use cases so if i am connected to like payment pl- protocols and everything like that in the fintechs i will see how i can help them grow their business so that is one uh, like how we are go actually working on growing your partners or your users business so uh, initially it was like we had limited number of applications and uh, so we could personally do it we could personally see okay potential is there let me connect you here let me connect you there or if they are coming in the second uh, now that is something which at uh, today when you have tens of thousands of applications humanly it's not possible because like if i just talk about me i have like 2800 groups on telegram so it's literally impossible to go out and probably go out and serve that so now what we're also b- building so we understand there's a problem there and we're not like okay we cannot do anything about it what we are doing is we're building a service provider network now the service provider network becomes your bd funnel where essentially we are marketing it we are going out and creating a platform where you can list yourself you can tell what you do and everything like that and after you've listed all those things what we do is we give you a login page where so let's say i want to connect with coin 98 so and coin 98 has a profile there so I don't have to con- like if someone needs to connect with coin 98 they come to this website they see there there's a form that opens up uh, you fill in the details these details go directly to coin 98 polygon has like is not the mediator here and you can just log in there you can see okay this is a requirement does this match with the things that I want to do or I want to engage with yes they've given the contact information you create that uh, connection directly and that way what what I have done is even without helping coin 98 in a, in a direct fashion I've helped you grow your business there so now a grant will uh, will die why because that's a limited amount of money but let's say if i bring five opportunities to coin 98 that way what happens is that's a regular income that you created out of that business that you got and so that is one of the biggest moat which which we have done and like a lot of these fortune 100 fortune 500 companies coming in you just collaborating among themselves so nike uh, and starbucks nike swoosh and everything that we did uh, now what we are doing is we have a partner success team which is essentially just working on this how to go out and uh, use uh, the success of one project that we have built uh, to either replicate it or either to connect with some other potential partnerships which can become e- even bigger so recently we had such kind of collaborations with nike and ea sports so that way this creates a lot of impact for those projects and a lot of adoption for that which is exactly what the businesses want so that is one of the biggest reasons why a lot of projects want to stick with us and they want to help us i think uh, uh, like that's two three sectors i'm very bullish on payment is yet not solved so that is one like a lot of companies are working on payments to solve that payment arena and everything like that so payment is one uh, where i feel that uh, it's going to be very much bullish because that's still not solved second i feel is like a lot of use case based nfts where essentially uh, you have these nfts which are deriving value uh, as a real based one like one of the examples that i can give off here is like uh, i hold an nft called zoward and not a financial advice but essentially what it gives me is so i bought it like at uh, somewhere around 
zero eight ETH at one point of time when it minted. The benefit that I get is I get access to builder houses where essentially uh, at a cheaper rate I can go out and live uh, live there at a very discounted rate. Uh, so that is one utility that I get. The second is they have a concierge. So essentially, if I have to travel, so for example, let's say I wanted a Vietnam visa. So ideally, what I'll have to do is find an agent, get them to do all those things for me. Here, what I'll do is I'll just call them and say, hey, I want to, uh, I want to get the visa. And that's it. So they will, uh, they will take all the requirements that are there from me and everything like that. And then what they will do is they will help me get all those things. So for me, a lot of work is reduced and. There's no charge for that. They don't charge any of those things for providing those services. So these kinds of value-driven uh, NFT ecosystem that is like I think the second thing which is there, and the third thing which is uh, which like I'm particularly the most bullish on is uh, ownership of data. So anything like for example lens, like where what you are doing is you're going out and enabling an ownership of data, where uh, which enables you to go out and monetize your data in the way you want it. So, like lens is one one such example. So, I think these are the three sectors which particularly I feel are where I'm very bullish on. Thank you.